Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here with uh, something a little bit different. Uh, I'm playing Rust again. I used to play Rust a couple of years ago. I'm really terrible at the game, but I thought I'd uh, share this. It's going to be unedited, so it might be slow in parts and it might be not a lot of me talking. But I'm in my little base here. It's nighttime. Actually, it's, it's morning now. And I'm going to head out and see what I can find. Now, Rust is a, a PvP game. I'm going to talk as if you've never played it, because a lot of people on my channel probably haven't played it. But it's kind of like a shooter, builder kind of game. You start off naked with just a boulder and a torch, and you have to kind of work your way up until you uh, build a base and defend it. And It's better if you group with people. But, uh, yeah, you can mine stuff, so I'm going to mine this ore here. I'll try to minimize the amount of ore mining and try to keep it busy. Now, I'm on a modded server, so things are a lot easier, but a lot faster. Resources. You get more resources. Faster. And that's good because I'm playing solo and I just... I just want to, I haven't, since I haven't played it so long, uh, there's a lot of new stuff, and I want to experience that. Now, there's only 31 people on the server right now. Most people have gone to sleep, I think. Now, there's a map. I'm right here. Here's the map. It's kind of randomly generated each time. There's these monuments and stuff. There's a helicopter that flies around. There's a camp you can trade stuff at. That's kind of a peaceful zone. So I found this cave earlier. I'm going to go check it out again. I fell down a shaft and died. And uh, let's let's mine this. Actually, I'll, I'll skip the skip the mining for now. Now, if I get into combat, I probably won't talk a lot because I can't concentrate. But, uh, I play, well, I'm only playing on 1080p settings, so the game doesn't look as nice, but it, it performs better, so it's easier to, easier to fight people when the, you get a higher frame rate. This game is strangely addictive, and it's really beautiful on 4K, full ultra settings, it's just a little bit slower. And the PvP is brutal. Some people get way ahead and they team up and they'll get guns way before you get guns. I've got a little revolver here that I'm using. And I also got a bow, a basic bow. A little bit silent if you don't want to be heard. I'm just keeping my eye out. Oh, there's a base over there. Actually, that's where I'm going. <laughs> Now that's another player's base there. They're probably sleeping. A lot of people swear in this game, so I apologize if you see nasty words in chat. Here's that cave I found. Now part of it was blocked off. I noticed it hasn't respawned stuff, so I'm going to maybe come back a bit later. And instead, I'm going to go to the gas station, which is close to here. And that is a plane flying overhead, which drops cool stuff sometimes. But we're going to this gas station here. We will probably encounter other players and get wrecked, but that's part of the fun. Let's see if anyone's home here. I don't think anyone is, but... Oh! Oh! This looks like a trap. <laughs> I bet you this is a trap base. It looks really suspect. But why would they use regular locks? They got an armored door. Maybe someone else put this ladder here. I'm probably going to get trapped and die. I think it's a trap base. Two boxes. 
Oh, this looks really, <laughs> really suspect. Hmm. I don't want to go down there. I'm going to get trapped, I bet. Maybe someone else built this? Hmm. Ah, uh, let's check it out. If we die, we die. Okay, it's not a trap. It's just uh, a really strange base. With a code lock. Okay. Let's get out of here. So we're going up to that hill. It's a gas station. We can find some loot. I'm trying to find these scraps that you use to um, research things. So I'm trying to get some new items researched. There's a lot of running around in this game. Oh, there's a, there's a naked here. A naked is just a new player that doesn't have anything on them. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff. I don't know why he fell asleep there, but we're gonna take his stuff. He's got a lot of pumpkins. Maybe he lost connection, maybe he just uh, went to sleep, I don't know. We'll uh, put him to sleep forever. We just flew away. <laughs> I should probably take all this stuff back. There's some good stuff here. I think I will. Let's go back to... Now we can teleport. There's a teleport command. It's unusual to get lucky like that with someone on the ground with a bunch of stuff. But anytime you get lucky in this game, you take it. I'm going to teleport back. Save us the run. We'll drop off some of this stuff. Then we'll head to the gas station. It takes 30 seconds to teleport. So we'll just kind of keep our eyes peeled. I didn't pick up that much stuff, but I did pick up this medicine thing here, medical syringe, which I will, I will want to research so I can make my own. Now I was going to research uh, this thing I have here. Where is it? There's an oil well somewhere here. This thing, oil refinery. Now, if we stick it on this research table here, we can see it takes uh, 75 scrap to research and a workbench level 2. We don't have a workbench level 2 yet. But instead of researching um, it, I might just actually use it because then we can get a bunch of fuel. And I got a, some extra storage here. Uh, what should we put in here? These boots are pretty nice. Actually, I want to save those boots so we can research those as well, because I don't think we can make them. No, we can't make those yet. What does it cost to research those? 75 scrap. I still need to make a level 2 workbench. I've got a level 1 workbench, which allows us to research really common stuff. But let's see here. We got workbench level 2 requires 500 scrap. So... It's going to be a while before we can afford that. This, the better stuff I'm storing right here. Well, not better, but more rare stuff. Okay, let's store that in there. We'll keep a couple of these syringes on us just for healing up. And what else do we have here? All these pumpkins can go in here. Crossbow is probably better than a bow. Put that away. And all this material and stuff, I'm going to stick in my little furnace room here. Now, furnaces, you can smelt ore into metal, but by burning wood. 
And this tool cabinet thing here, this is what like kind of gives you permission to do stuff in the base and you have to feed it materials. This requires rock and metal to keep keep the base from falling down. What do we got cooking in here? We got ore. Let's put some more ore in there. Cook that up. Got a little bit more wood. And we'll store the rest of the stuff away here. Uh, we need all those pumpkins. And I think I'll set the oil refinery up outside, and we'll, we'll cook some oil. I don't think you can make it indoors. So we need crude oil, which is actually back here. <laughs> Grab that, and it should be good. Put some more pumpkins in here. I also want to get the, there's a better version of the axe and a better version of this, this thing here. These are just common things, so I'm going to stick them over here. They're kind of garbage, but we'll keep the axe for now. Put that away, put that away. Keep the cleaver on us. Okay, let's go cook some oil. I just opened the wrong door. Yep. Now there's two doors here. This is called an airlock. It's like a little secure room that you have before your base, just in case you get attacked as you're entering. Because if I get attacked while I'm entering... Oh, that base just fell down. What's going on there? Let's plant this first. We'll go investigate. Uh, let's stick this, I don't know, up here. And we'll cook some oil while we go and investigate. Someone might come along and steal it, but that's okay. Oh, it starts with some wood. How nice. Okay, did that base fall down or is there a person in there? I can't really tell. I think it's falling down. This was probably their like little starter base. It probably doesn't have anything in it, but we'll check. It's got an armored wall. No, it's falling apart. It's totally falling apart. So this is this is what happens if you don't. I can't actually get in there. I guess I should be able to. It's all falling down anyway. <laughs> There's probably nothing in here, and I can't seem to jump in here. If you crouch and jump, usually you can fit in these little holes. But we can go around. Oh, we can go in here. Uh, let's see here. Nothing there. Oh, it's totally open. This has nine hit points left. I guess we'll just let it fall down. Let's go check the roof, though. Sometimes you can... You can get in from the roof. No, it's still intact there. And you can get stuck. I don't want to jump in there. I might get stuck. It's about to fall apart, though. So we'll come back. A little bit later and take a look see if it oh it's totally open wow okay so someone else's base here this was their starter base yeah it's empty we can authorize on it we could take this over and make this a little our our own base but it'd be useless because the doors are um oh am i stuck in here now i might be stuck in here oh no i can get out there yeah, the doors are not coded to us, so we can't actually get in here. Did they hide anything down here? You can do little hidden stashes. And if you stare at the place long enough, it opens up. Yeah, they probably just built this. I wonder if we can do this. Let's see. There's special commands. If you own the base, you can remove things with a hammer. I actually don't have a hammer on me. Never mind. Let's get out of here. There's nothing in there. Now we could go check out that lighthouse. Was there a guy over there? No. I forgot about my crude oil cooking away here. 
Yeah, since I last played, there's like a couple years back, there's all these new things like boats and stuff. Yeah, I'm splitting these piles up because things cook faster that way. Need all that wood, take that out. I think I'll go back to that cave first. Then we'll check out the lighthouse. It's pretty quiet. I haven't. Usually you encounter way more people. Let's just turn this off for now. And hopefully no one breaks it. Okay, let's store some stuff away here. Crude oil, all that fuel. The fuel's pretty good. But we're, we're on the lookout for scraps. So we can build a workbench level two. So we can re research some more components and stuff. Or use components to research. I thought I'd record this game just because I've been playing it a lot lately. And I play it with a couple buddies as well on a different server. And I might do some Recording of that, if they don't mind. Oh, here comes the helicopter. The helicopter will attack you if you have a gun on you. We could do some mining here. Do a little bit of mining. Now this is a sulfur node. Sulfur, you have to cook it. And then once you cook it, you can turn it into gunpowder. And gunpowder is used for bullets and explosives. Where's that helicopter? We don't want it to... We don't want to encounter it. There's a guy here. Oh no, it's not. I'm seeing, thin, seeing things. Things respawn after a while. Oh, where is that helicopter? I don't know. We'll, uh... I think it's right behind me. Maybe we can duck into the cave. Avoid it. And it's pretty fierce. It'll kick your ass if you're if you're not really prepared. Don't see it though, anyway. I think that cave respawned. Maybe. Whoa, that scared me. That scared me. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? Some kind of explosive. <laughs> that really scared me. Uh, is there someone behind us? Don't think so. There's some good loot in here usually. Get inside. There's some stuff in here. Okay, let's open this present. What do we got? Oh, hazmat suit blueprint. Now, I should be standing still like this because people will attack you. And we need a light in here. If we're gonna not get ki killed. I don't think anyone's in here, so we'll do a little bit of mining. I should use the headlamp that I have here uh, instead of my bucket helmet. Stick some fuel in there. That way we can keep our hand, hands free. See what we're doing. Now someone's blocked off one of the one of the entrances in here, which is unfortunate. Okay. The, this way is has like a drop off, and I died. I fell down here. There's probably two of my bodies down there, but you can only get up from the bottom, I think. We're looking for this stuff. Scrap. It's like the major currency in the game. Uh, what can we get rid of here? Survey charge. I don't really need that. I don't really need. Should we grab another of these hats? Uh, we'll grab the we'll grab the fuel out of it. 
Embrasure, sure that's what this thing is. It's like a wall that you can shoot out of. It's pretty useful. Now normally I'd be moving around a lot while mining because someone can walk up behind you and just kill you. But we've been lucky so far. There's some stuff down here. More fuel. We don't need those binoculars. Actually, we could recycle those binoculars. Got a lot of garbage on me here. Uh, pressure pad. Okay, we're going down here. See if we can find anything interesting. This is where it was blocked off. There's a node here. A mining node. I thought there might be a little bit more action. We'll probably encounter someone. Okay, I don't really need these grenades. The grenades are actually pretty common, so I'll just chuck that. Now, if you hit these bright spots, it goes faster. Now, I already know this is block bell to show you guys here. Oh, I think it's blocked. Oh yeah, we gotta jump across here. Let's get this loot first. What do we got here? A light? Need that. Oh, uh, what else can I get rid of here? My inventory's so full. Um. Hmm. What to get rid of? What to get rid of? Uh, I probably won't be using this anytime soon. Let's just grab this fuel. Chuck those. Oh yeah, and I'm terrible at jumping, so I might not be able to like, jump across these beams without falling. We'll see. Yep. I won't try that many times, because it'll get really boring really fast. Let's try that again. Oh. <laughs> There's not much to see on the other side anyway. It is... It is someone's base. And I fell again. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it's their base, but they've blocked it off. Well, well... <laughs> I'm so terrible at jumping in this game. Oh. Someone in here? Oh, something's falling down there. Okay, now we gotta get over there. Because I think that wall fell down. Um, let's try that again. It's very slippery along here. Okay, we got across. This is falling apart. It's blocked off, but it's falling apart. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear it. Someone might be in there, but it's probably just falling apart. I don't think anyone's in there. We'll head to the gas station. See if we can get some stuff. Oh, another node. Now this is a nicer, nicer version of this pickaxe. that I want to get. I want to research it though. Uh, how do we get up here? The game is usually not this solitary. There's only 29 people on and it's a pretty big map so chances are I won't encounter anyone. Oh. But if you go to places like Monuments, like the gas station. Oh, the gas station's not a monument, but you're more likely to meet people. And there are NPCs that you can fight. Actually, I got a lot of stuff on me. I might just teleport back. Let's 
turn our little light off here. I got no pants on. Our inventory is pretty full. Did we get anything exciting here? We got some scrap on us. We could recycle that. Uh, oh, let's just go. We'll risk it. We'll risk it. We'll risk encountering someone. We'll probably die and lose all our stuff, but that's okay. Just pick it up. Sometimes you can pick up stones off the ground here. Now I did build a second little base that I could teleport to that's up ahead. It's probably going to fall down. It might have already. It allows me to get to the gas station quicker if I need to. Okay, I thought I heard something, but maybe I didn't. Yeah, this little base here, it's not even a base, it's just a hovel. I built this here. I could put a... Do we have any... No. We'll leave that for now. Maybe I'll... Yeah, we'll leave that for now. Now, some guy had a base over here, and he... Yeah, right here, and he killed me. Killed me with a shotgun. He's probably not home. That's a pretty big base he built. Now bases have upkeep, like I was saying, so... Dowdy's home. You can hear people walking around in their houses, and I'm sneaking right now, so... He can't hear me. So wood base down there. We got a flamethrower now. We'll steal some of his pumpkins. Actually, I don't really need them, but... Yeah, with the flamethrower, I could burn that base down, down there. With enough fuel. I don't think he's home. Oh, there's another base up here. Lots of bases have sprung up in the last few hours. Now, the, the server resets every two weeks. Which means everything gets destroyed. Sometimes you get to keep your blueprints, but... Let's eat some of these. A lot of people are probably sleeping. Oh, it's a little interesting courtyard he's got there. Oh, he's got a flame turret. You get in the way of that, it'll... It'll burn you. Burn you bad. This is probably a trap, so people will go in there and get fried. Let's, let's do it. Oh. It's not shooting us. Maybe it doesn't have any fuel. Hmm. But if we went in there, got too close, it would probably fry us. Let's see. We'll get it a little bit closer here. It's not doing anything. Huh. It's empty. Never filled it up. That's an interesting base they have here. Oh, maybe... not using code locks but I don't think we're gonna get anything from here we'll get out of here if we can get out of here oh maybe I can't jump up there maybe I'm stuck uh, I should be able to jump up here let's see uh oh I might have to take this out hmm I trapped myself 
Like, is this a window or what? It's a screen. Okay. Yeah, I think I just trapped myself. Maybe we can jump from this side. Nope. We're going to have to destroy this, I think. Oh, we can't even squeeze through there. Okay. Hmm. It's a trap. <laughs> um... Interesting. I think I might be able to run and jump from here. Nope. Oh, jeez. I might have to kill myself. To get out of here. Okay, let's just see if we can build. Uh, let's drop that. Make a building plan. We're almost certainly going to be building blocked. I'll try to jump again here. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit of a trap. Oh, we almost made it. Okay, maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible. Missed my jump. Uh... Oh, it's so close. Maybe if I double jump once I get up there. Try that again, over and over. You know, the guys are gonna get biz dizzy. Uh, nope. We could put something down. Oh, I'm an idiot. I could just put a box. Oh no, I can't. I can't build a box here. Can't put anything down. It's not my base. Uh, hmm. Yeah, building blocked. We can't build here. Can't put boxes down. Hmm. We'll try jumping again here. Oh, presents. Let's try this again. Man gets trapped in base. Exciting. Oh, that's kind of in the way. I don't think it's intentionally a trap base. I just happen to get trapped. Okay, if we go like... Nope. <laughs> so sad. Thought we could probably get out here, but... No. If I kill myself right here... I can probably come grab my stuff, so I'll do that. We'll force kill ourselves here. You can do that. Sometimes, if it'll let you. There we go. And hopefully our corpse is close enough to grab our, grab our stuff. Okay, we're gonna respawn at home. And get back there. We'll bring some pumpkins to eat on the way. I won't bring anything else. Okay. Sometimes things like that happen. And hopefully I can get my stuff. Not that I had a whole lot, but... Oh, maybe I should have brought some tools. Yeah, I probably should have brought some tools to knock down that barricade. I'm gonna go back. Oh, is there a guy up there? No. I'm gonna grab some tools just so I can knock that barricade down. And some bandages and stuff, because I'll probably get injured doing it. And then we should be able to get our corpse. 
some bandages. Most people who play Rust and do YouTube, they have highly edited videos with all this boring stuff cut out. And it's all the great gun battles, but... And there's a lot of tutorials and stuff. Okay, what do I need here? I need tools. Let's go in here first. Let's make um hatchet, a couple spears. That should be good. We'll bring a little bit of wood in case we need to need some. I need to chop some more wood. I'm like really low. And a tiny bit of cloth. I probably won't need it, but better safe than sorry. And we need some arrows. Let's grab some arrows here. Bow. Some arrows. I thought I made some more spears. Anyway, we can chop wood if we need it. Back we go to get our corpse. That'll, that door will close on its own. Here comes the plane. The plane, the plane. Now, like I said, sometimes they drop valuable stuff. Plant some, plant some stuff on the way. The game will let me. Hasn't dropped anything yet. Oh, did it drop something? No. I think on this server you get three times the normal materials you, you would normally get. Let me get this cloth here. If you harvest hemp, you get cloth. Pretty useful. Pretty sure I was up this way. Yeah, there's that base. Hopefully we get into one fight, because this game is all PvP. And it's almost certain I'll be the one dying, but if you die, you respawn at a sleeping bag that you can put down. Oh, let's get this present. Hit it with a spear. We'll get all the presents. Oh, we got a rug. <laughs> Just what we need, a rug. Now, that can be recycled into cloth, but we'll probably toss it here. Oh, what do we got here? Now, it's not Christmas, but for some reason, the server gives away Christmas presents. Oh, they're everywhere. Jeez. Let's unwrap some presents in a second here. Oh, uh, there's another one here. Oh, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. <laughs> this is definitely a, a modded server thing. Oh, got an SMG body. He's for making guns. Okay. We're freezing, we're freezing our nuts off here. Okay, let's uh, open some presents here. Oh, blueprints. Nice free blueprints. Upgrade. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, look at all that stuff. What is this? Decorative pine cones. The speakers. Oh, we got all these. All sorts of goodies. Tinsel. 
Got a candy cane. Oh, this high external wall is pretty good. If we learn to make those... Oh, this thing's turning around and flying back. Okay, let's get our corpse. Should be back there. Yeah, there it is. We have to get rid of this thing, I think. Oh, we might be able to loot without... Oh, no, we're gonna take... We're gonna take damage. Okay. That thing has a lot of hit points. But we... Gotta make sure we don't kill ourselves. Getting it here. We're gonna have to eat some food. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> Maybe we'll make a fire here. Or close to here. Whoa. Plane just crashed, I think. I don't know where it crashed, but I think it crashed. Make a fire down here. Now you get comfort from being near a fire. Which makes you heal up faster. Keeps you warm too. Let's see what's in here. More presents. What do we got here? What was that? Chocolate bar. Sewing kit. Okay. Blueprints. Always good. We don't need these skull balls. Put some of these clothes on. And we can make some more clothing here. Let's make some boots. Some wooden armor. And let's try to get that barricade down so we get our corpse. I think I hear someone. Hmm. Maybe not. It's going to take a lot of hits to get this thing down. to heal up again. Heal up by the fire. Can I also use bandages to heal? Which are good for if you're bleeding. I'm surprised there's no one around. All this presence all over the place there. Let's go check them out. Might be some good stuff. Make another spear. Uh, do I have enough wood for that? Probably not. We might end up getting more stuff from the presence than uh, my body. High external stone gate. Lots of good stuff here. You don't usually get this much loot in the game. This is very rare. Oh, pipe shotgun. So much stuff. Don't really need that shotgun, actually. Unless we get attacked. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Okay. We are going to take that. We're going to get rid of that light. Oh, road sign armor. This is some good stuff. <laughs> Pookie bear. Okay, well. Grab this homemade shell. Reload this shotgun. Oh, it's already reloaded. Okay. It's already loaded. We could probably use this on this thing, but I don't want to attract too much attention. 
through noise. So let's just, let's finish it off here. Get our loot. Okay, now we can get our corpse. But we got so much crap on us. That we gotta make some room. That one bullet can go for now. Spear don't need. Okay, let's see what we can pick up here. All my stuff. Don't need the binoculars. Get the important stuff first. Like our gun. Our meds. Uh, fuel. Put these clothes on. Oh, what else? Thread. And our garbage I should chuck here. The gate's pretty good. We'll keep that. Oh, we can get the rest on the way back. But I better go dump, dump this stuff off at base. And I'll teleport back. Uh, home one. That's what I want. Oh, I can't teleport here because there's... Actually, I want to check out all these presents, but we'll get those on the way back too. We'll just hide out here, teleport in 30 seconds, dump all this stuff off, because there's quite a bit here, and then we'll head to the gas station, which is what I've been trying to do this whole episode. Most of you will probably find this extremely boring, but... I thought I would record it since, uh, since I'm playing it. Okay, let's put this stuff away. And yeah, we can get our furnace started here again. Let's take that in there. Oops, I didn't want to bring that out. Put that in there. That's full. That's full. Can we stack those walls up? Yep. Actually, we'll keep those on us. Uh, tech trash can go in here. Stick the wall in there. Don't need two shotguns on us. Even though that couldn't be useful. rest of the garbage. This will be our crappy storage over here. Actually, those those rifle bodies are pretty good. Actually, those don't belong there. Uh, okay, I think we're good to go. And maybe we'll encounter someone. It's possible. Okay, we got too many arrows on us. We got too many bullets on us. We don't need all these bullets. Uh, I'm gonna chuck that. Probably only need about 30 bullets or so. Okay, we're out of here. Could pick up that other junk that I uh, left. Now my door auto closes, that's why I'm not closing it. That's like a setting of this server. If you hit alt, if you hold down alt, you can look to either side while you're running. And there's a key binding you can set for auto sprinting, like I'm doing right now. I'm not holding down any key when I'm running right now. Super useful, because your hand can get tired holding down the W key as you run. I got way too many weapons on me. The shotgun's good for close range. 
Revolver's good for close range. There is like a sniper rifle. But I don't have one of those. I really want to burn that base down. Let's check out these presents while we're here. Don't need the carpet. <laughs> wonder if this base has a... It's all wood. The whole thing is wood, so we could burn it down. Let's get some more presents. We, maybe we can upgrade them. Steal a pumpkin. someone? Maybe not. Grab the rest of the crap we left here. Do I need that axe? Probably not. We go to the gas station. Okay, don't hear anyone. There's not a whole lot of stuff in here usually. Sometimes some food. Looks like someone's been here recently. Oh, there's food here. Party hat. <laughs> Let's open these up. Got too much crap on me here. That that's a that's a mail post. Oh, I can't wear both of those. Okay. Oh. Where did the medical syringe come from? Maybe the present? I don't know. Okay, there's more food here. Wow, there's slim pickings. Usually there's some more stuff in here besides food. It's all party hats. <laughs> Not what I wanted. <laughs> Usually barrel. Oh, I heard gunfire. Now there's a recycler here. Put a bunch of stuff in here and recycle it. Uh, what should I do? I don't think there's anything I really want to recycle. But you can go down in here. There's sometimes loot in here. Not today. Someone's been here recently. And sometimes there's a key card on this desk in here somewhere. Not this room. The other room. Actually, let's put something in here. I will put this big medical thing. It turns into a, two medical syringes. But sometimes you can get scrap. Oh, we got some fuel too. Okay. We heard some... I heard a shot or something over here. Yeah, there's probably someone down there. There's a base there. I think that's the base. Let's go check it out. I'm a terrible shot in this game, so I'll probably die.
Make sure no one's behind us. <laughs> hmm. I think it's on the other side of the water. What do we have on us? A bean can? Grenade? Maybe I'll grab that flamethrower and we can burn that wooden base down. It'll take a lot of fuel, but it might be worth it. I should probably stream this game because it's kind of a little bit boring sometimes. Okay, there's someone over there, I think. see anyone. Okay, we're going to teleport back home again. Actually, where am I? We're going to go by that go by that mine on the way back. Let's see if there's anything good there. How much is this meat? Meat heals for 10. Can't see them, but I hear them. Wait, I think they're way on the other side there. I haven't been really paying attention to the chat. There's an oil rig way over in the distance there. And there's some NPCs you can fight on it. I took a boat out there and I got killed really fast. There's no ceiling on this base. Oh, that's the trap base. Never mind. <laughs> we know that already. Well, I guess we'll see what's in here. SMG body. Raining stuff. I'll drop the meat. Stone. Nice little present. This little base is falling down all over the place here. Like that thing fell down. Let's go check it out. There might be some loot in there. Probably not, but you never know. And where's that wood base I want to try to take out? I think it's down there somewhere. No. I don't think there's going to be anything in here, but we'll check. One foot of rope. <laughs> Very quiet server. Okay, where's our... We're heading back towards the lighthouse. I pass by that tunnel. Oh, I'm full of... Jeez, everything is full. Alright, okay, I'll get rid of that. Because we need cloth. Lots of stone on the ground here. We'll get it. So quiet. Not one single encounter. Hmm. How is it possible? Such a small server, 26 people on. They must be on the other side of the map. I'm close to where you spawn in in the beginning of the game. She spawns a random, but it's usually around the outside. 
Some of these rocks you can pick up, some of them you can't. Okay, we've been there before. We're going down here. This might have... Oh, this respawned. There's usually really good stuff in here. Okay. Scrap. Oh, a chainsaw. Holy crap. There's a chainsaw. What can we get rid of here? That can go, that can go, that's crap. Oil, we don't really need that. What about this one? Another flamethrower. Holy crap. Like I said, this is un unusual. Uh, that can go. Don't really need that. Let's open some presents here. See what we got. Teddy bear, chocolate bar, and there's probably a little bit of loot right in here too. So much stuff. Springs. Springs are good. Oh, that's not what I wanted. This thing lets you make electrical stuff, which I've never really tried yet. Oh boy. Uh, decisions, decisions. Survey charge we'll get rid of. These pipes are good for gun making. And this small amount of metal fragments isn't that great. We don't really need it. Take the springs instead. Oh, and we can take this. Yeah, we could go in, but there's probably a little bit more loot in there, but we'll get back home. I'll show you the chainsaw in action. It's pretty awesome. Actually, we've got no inventory space for it. We'll get back to base first. Then play with the chainsaw. Way faster for cutting down trees than the hatchet. And I already have one so I can risk using it without losing the blueprint. Can I jump down here without dying? What? Where am I? I'm totally lost here. I think I'm way over that way. Yep, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. You can also get a jackhammer. I think I actually have one in the base. That's good for all these nodes. Instead of mining them with a axe or like a stone pickaxe you can go through them way faster. Okay, our base should be down that way. On the beach. Actually this way. It's a walking simulator. It's very unusual for me not to encounter someone, but it is late at night when I'm recording, so. Okay, our base should be down there somewhere. Uh, we'll just jump down here. Hopefully we won't die. You can take fall damage if you drop too far. I think this... I've already been in here and there was nothing in here. It hasn't fallen down anymore. Actually, that's gone. Nothing in here. Trying to build up 500 scrap so that we can build the next workbench. Let's see how much I have now. 
Oops, wrong way. There's actually some over here. Let's grab it. So we got... How much do I have now? Oops, door's in my way. Not enough. Let's go try to break into that base. We're gonna need a lot of fuel. Probably not that much, but we have a lot. Uh, let's bring... I don't know, we'll bring 200 maybe? Because I do have a spare flamethrower. Let's put this chainsaw away. We might get lucky, we might be able to burn into that base. Maybe we'll bring 300 fuel since I have so much. Too many damn pumpkins. Okay, chainsaw. We got two chainsaws. We have two flamethrowers. Okay. Put some of this stuff away. Uh, cloth. That goes in there. Actually, these improvised shells aren't as good as the these shells, so... Get rid of the stone. Maybe I'll take some more fuel. I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky. We've got 50 in there already. Put that stone away. Okay, that should be good. Well, we're really low on wood. We'll do a little bit of chainsawing sawing after we try to burn this base down. Oh, I got five medical syringes on me. Oh, that's fine. It's flamethrowing time. Now, it takes a lot of fuel to burn a base down, but... We'll try. I think it's up on that hill. It might be empty. It's kind of like uh, a lottery. You never know what you're going to get. A lot of the bases around here are people's starter bases. Like, they just set something up to secure their stuff, and then they move to a more popular area. I'm really amazed we haven't encountered anyone. We probably will. Now that we have 368 fuel on us, we probably will get... Okay, we're we're heading towards the gas station, right? Yeah. That wood base. Oh, it's right there. I don't remember that base being there before. Maybe it was. Someone might be building it. Let's sneak up. This probably was here, but I can't remember. It seems partially built. Not complete. They probably logged off. I think I saw this base already, actually. Okay, that wood base is our target. Now, I don't know how much damage we'll do to it. It has a metal door. We could try to go for the ceiling, but I think I'll just try to go in right here. Sure, if that worked or not. Wow, look how fast we used the fuel. Holy crap. Good thing I brought 300. <laughs> now, if we stand there, we're gonna get damaged. 
but how much health does it have? Oh, that took off a decent amount. What? Oh, it broke. Why did it break so fast? I think it might have been damaged. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Um, hmm. Didn't notice that. Now, if we had a repair bench, we could fix it. Oh, okay. Uh, and if we pick it, it'll take way too long. Let's just see if we can do any damage at all. 226, 225. Yeah, five hits is one hit point. Wow, that sucks. Okay, hmm. We need a repair bench to repair it. <laughs> and that's just one, that's just one wall. There's probably more walls inside there because it's a three by three base. What's decaying? Or is it? No, it did, it burned, burned a little bit on both ends here. Mm-hmm. You can also blow up the doors, but I don't have any explosives. I guess we'll go back. Maybe we'll try to repair that, repair that axe, or repair that uh, flamethrower. But I think I better end this episode. It is getting kind of long. Didn't really get anything done. But uh, that's the way Rust goes sometimes. Sometimes it's full of action, non-stop action, and sometimes it's quiet and not much happens. Lots of running, gathering and running, chopping wood. So we'll run back to base just so we're safe first. Actually, I can, I can end the recording here. We'll hide in a bush. Hopefully no one will kill us. We haven't seen anyone this whole time, so it's probably safe. But uh, let me know what you think of these kind of videos. Uh, whether I should edit them down just to, so it's combat, or just leave everything in, or... Yeah, let me know in a comment. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.